Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the error code 1606, could not access the network location when attempting to either uninstall or reinstall an application. So this should hopefully be a fairly straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. And we are going to start this tutorial off by opening up the star menu. Type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match should come back with a registry editor. You want to right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to go and select yes. Now, whenever you're in the registry, I would normally suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything went wrong, you could easily restore it back. And in order to create the backup, it's very simple. Just go and select the file tab and then export. File name, usually I'd recommend naming it the date that you're making the backup. Export range should be all and save it to an easily accessible location on your computer or external source that you can recover it in the event that you need it. And if you ever need to import it back in, you would select file import. So pretty straightforward. So now we're ready to begin. So double click on the HK local machine folder to expand that. Do the same thing now for the software folder locate Microsoft, locate Microsoft, double click on that. Same thing now for Windows, so you're going to have to scroll down a little bit. Double click on that, and then current version, double click on that. Explore, double click on that, and then finally, you're looking for something that says shell folders. Right here. And if you need to pause the video at this point, you can take note of our file path up at the top of the screen here. So, you know, you're more than welcome to go back and forth and, you know, change the speed of the video if you want. But feel free to pause the video at this point. So now that we see the shell folders, you want to go ahead and rename it. So right click on this folder, select rename, rename it shell folder and add three dots or periods after folder so again shell folder and then dot 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 hit enter to save that and now that you've done that successfully you want to locate something you want to scroll down a little bit until you find use shell folder or I should say use shell folders and you want to rename it shell folders so just delete the users part so we're going to delete that shell folders now you just save that, hit enter to save out of it. And once you are done with that, you should go ahead and try and install whatever application you're having the issue with, the 1606 error. Restart your computer and hopefully then your issue should be resolved. And then once you have installed the program successfully, now you want to go back into the registry where we are. So we're going to go again, locate shell folders and we're going to rename this. And we're going to call it use shell folders. So we're basically going to be undoing what we did. Or you honestly, you could just restore back from the backup we did. Probably would be smart. And then if we went to shell folder, we just rename it and then add the plural to the folders, get rid of the periods or dots, whatever you want to call it, hit enter. And that should revert it back to normal. Again, you could just restore from the backup and that should automatically do that. You shouldn't actually have to even come back in here. But you know what? Just giving you guys a couple different options to work with. So as always, again, you'll do that once you are done installing the software. I want to make that very clear. Restart your computer after making these changes. Install the software and then come back in the registry and revert it back. So that's the steps you should be doing. So anyway, Thank you guys for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.